everybody. Happy Friday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. And happy Friday. And Friday means it's our melody writing day. Now, we're going to write a melody based on the lyrics that we wrote, uh, that I wrote last night for Picture This. Um, and I will go over those lyrics again. And then... After I'm done going over reviewing the lyrics that we that I wrote, we're going to um, I'm going to show you how I wrote a melody for this and you know how I got there, um, what inspired me to write the melody. What is a melody? Okay, um, a melody is a tune. You know, um, you know, um, a tune. Mary had a little lamb. That's Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's the tune. Okay. Lyrics are words. Melody is the tune. Okay. So the melody has nothing to do with lyrics. Just so you remember, because I've been getting, I've been getting, you know, uh, emails and texts and stuff going, here's my melody and it's lyrics. And I'm like, no, that's not, you know, a lyric is words. Melody is the tune. So now that we have that established, um, the first thing that I do, not always, because I, you know, I, I, I go about this differently each time. Sometimes I hear the melody first. Other times I, I make up chords and then I try to write a melody based on the chords that I come up with, right? So since I've been writing songs for a long time now, over these years, I know what keys work well with my voice, right? I say that, say that all the time. And as you get progress as a singer and an artist, you're going to know those things as well. You start knowing that mm, singing down here doesn't really flatter my voice as much. My voice kind of soars up here. I sound much better at a higher key, you know. But not so high that you sound like you're straining either. You know, you want to find a comfortable medium so that you know where your strength is, you know. And so, and even though these songs we write might not be for us, it might be for a girl, then we'll, we'll change the key later. That doesn't matter. As long as we establish the melody, the lyric, and the chords, then we can move it up or down. We can modulate it. The key, any, any way, excuse me, if it's a girl, we raise it. If it's a guy, we lower it, you know. Um, it might be, if it's a guy, it might be closer to where, where I'm at already, so we don't have to move it too much. Um, so, um, you know, um, the first thing I do is I start looking at, first look at the lyrics, right? And then I think about the cadence, you know, sometimes... So, you know, cadence to me and tempo is as important as the melody to me because then I know how I'm going to sing it. Like All that depends, you know, a lot depends to me on the tempo. You know, I, I know that sounds funny to some people, but it just really helps me for some reason. So if I'm going, you know, right? If I ask you to love me just look me in the eyes and lie to me and if I ask you if you need me just whisper in my ear and lie to me and if I ask if you want me just keep it to yourself and lie to me and if I ask you to love me just look me in the eyes and lie to me that's kind of like the way I'm hearing it right so those are the words. I repeated the words, right? So, but now we're going to sing. We're not going to just, you know, talk those words. We're going to sing them now, right? So, um, so the first, um, this song I think is in G, in, it ends up being in G, but I was, in so I wrote the melody first. But then I found the chords afterwards. So I'm just getting you the first notes here. So it's G, you know, so. Then it goes up. So the first thing I did was I went, um, 
And if I ask you to love me Just look me in the eyes and lie to me I just thought that was nice. That's the melody I heard first, so I got... And if I ask if you love me Just look me in the eyes and lie to me And if I ask if you need me just whisper in my ear and lie to me. See, I did, I did a little variation, right? So. It's not it doesn't have to be elaborate, but it but it's pretty, especially when you hear it against the chords, right? So see? So we're going. Um, um, let me see something. See, that's, um, so that's a uh, pentatonic blues minor. So, um, so we're going. And if I ask if you love me, just look me in the eyes and lie to me. And if I ask if you need me, just whisper in my ear and lie to me. And if I ask if you want me, just keep it to yourself and lie to me. And if I So that's like the whole thing, right? So. And then of course I found the tempo, right? So it was like, ask if you love me, just look me in the eyes and lie to me. And if I ask if you need me, just whisper in my ear and lie to me. And if I thing basically um so then i you know i got the tempo going right so you know So if I had to, you know, trace that back to an actual scale, like I said, um, scale so the minor scale works to that whole thing 
And, you know, once I add harmonies to that, and, you know, it'll just sound so pretty. You put you put a harmony above, a harmony below. You do a third above and a third below. And maybe a root octave. Sound great, you know? So what I want to do now is just play the whole thing in my little demo. So hold on, here it goes. And if I ask if you love me, just look me in the eyes and lie to me. And if I ask if you need me, just whisper in my ear and lie to me. And if I ask if you want me, just keep it to yourself and lie to me. And if I ask if you love me, just look me in the eyes and lie to me. So there it is, guys. There's our, or my chorus that I wrote for the words from the picture this. All right, guys, that is all the time we have for tonight. This is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe C.B. signing off. Have a lovely weekend. I love you. I miss you. Be well, be safe, and I will see you guys on Monday. Peace.